Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday. It is July 12th, 2020, and uh, not a bad day today. Uh, partly cloudy. Uh, we ended up yesterday, we're going to talk about this before we get into the video. Uh, we ended up yesterday having uh, that rain did come, that it did happen, and we had an all day rain, which is exactly what we needed. I just want to show you here. See how high it got in here. Ah, okay. So the water is right underneath that that level there. So we got oh this is almost back to being completely full, a couple inches away from being completely full, which is good. And uh it was a really good rain, really good rain. So this tank was down. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a 550 gallon tank, and I'll bet you we were probably at about 200 gallons left when the rain came. So we probably got about 300 gallons of uh, rainwater off the roof itself. So very, very good. Very good. So, but, uh, and that's the, obviously the water we used to water the gardens. And so obviously I did not water today except for the uh, potatoes in the greenhouse. But, uh, okay, so before we get started on the topic, I want to remind everybody I will be live streaming tonight. And uh, so we will be doing that as well. And so uh, join me then at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I'm not sure what the topic is going to be yet. I haven't figured that part out yet, but we will be live streaming. So please join me then. Um, we should. It's always a good time. We always have a nice chat, and it's always really nice. So just join us then. All right. So let's get into topic real quick. Disneyland opens even though the workers had petitioned the company not to reopen, okay? So why did Disney open anyway? Why did Disney not want to make sure that their staff was protected? Well, of course, it always comes down to one thing, the almighty buck. Got to have that almighty buck. And, of course, people are going to still flock there if they're open. People are going to go to Disney. They just, that's what they do. And, uh... So, I just, I, I think with what is going on right now in Florida, with the increased number of new cases in Florida, basically on a daily basis, I think that it was a very poor choice on their part um, to open up at this point in time. Obviously, they did anyway. Um, but again, what that always comes down to, guys, in my opinion, is greed, greed, greed. Uh, you know... That's what it always comes down to. And uh, it's unfortunate because the ones that are going to pay are the workers. The workers are going to pay. When you're having people coming from all over the country, now you got to remember, right now, Florida is one of the hot spots, right? So you got all these people coming from all over the country or the world, and they've made their reservations and their blocks to come down there and hang out in Disneyland. And even though it's reduced crowds, it's still interacting with a whole bunch of people um, you know, and I don't know how smart that is. That's just my opinion on that. But, uh, so, uh, I definitely want to hear your feedback on that. What do you guys think? Do you think, uh, it's smart that Disney opened up or do you think it's, it's a very poor decision? Like I said, you're risking people's lives, especially the workers. Those are the ones that are t at the most risk. Um, and, uh, so we'll see what happens with that. So, uh, I wanted to show you this too. This morning, because uh, now we're not 90 degrees anymore, I did stack the rest of this wood today. And so, uh, I'll bring you over here real quick and show you. So, here's our room. <laughs> I can squeeze in here. Um, this here, like I said, this, I'm glad I did not go with... Uh, four more face cord and I just got the two. I finished filling up this row here. Uh, this row I think is the sixth row. Um, this one here is. So uh, finished filling that up and then I had this here that I had to do as well. And I got another bucket right there as you can see of kindling as well. So uh, really pleased. Uh, 28 face cord in here. Could I get 30 in here? I could, but then I would be squeezing through this little narrow channel to try to get wood, and I don't want to do that. So, um, you know, 
this way it's here and that's you know that's fine now what I will do when the winter gets here I will probably take a tarp and tap it up over the door um, just to uh, you know keep that so that there's not the wind and snow and stuff just blowing right in there like that so uh, that's that I'll, I'll do that and uh, but yeah so um, last last two face quarter now in which is good. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. Like I said, we got a grand total of 28 face cord in there as well. So um, first of all, let me. I wanted to do a huge, huge thank you uh, to my subscribers. Um, happy Prepper, the young man. I, and I, I was guessing his age between 12 and 14. And I guess uh, when he did his video, a second video, or the video that he did yesterday, he said he was going to be 13 in three days. So um, I was really right on with that one. Uh, so, but anyway. Uh, I had asked you guys, I said by Monday night, if we got them over 3,000 subscribers, I would do a giveaway. Well, you guys stepped up to the plate. Um, he is over 3,000 subscribers already today. But let's keep pushing that. Let's see if we can get him to 4,000. Uh, let's really try to push that today, guys. So if you have not subscribed to the Happy Prepper yet, I'm going to ask you to go over there to his channel and do that. He's a young man who is 12 years old. He's going to be 13 in a couple days. Uh, he has a prepping channel. He got his family into prepping. He got his parents started prepping and stuff like that. And again, a lot of us preppers are not that young anymore. And we need that younger generation to step up. Um, I think he's a very mature for his age. And uh, I want to support his channel. And so, guys, if you would go over there again, let's get that push. Um, last I saw, and it's been a while because I've been working, uh, he was at uh, 3,100 and something. So let's let's try to get him, if we can get him to 4,000 by tomorrow, um, you know, that would be awesome. Um, th I think that would be really, really cool. Nice, nice young man. Uh, got his head on straight and his priorities are straight. And I think that that's an important thing. So obviously, I'm going to tell you right now, never met his parents, haven't talked to his parents. But obviously, his parents are doing something right because that young man is squared away. So I, I think that that's a really, really good thing. So again, if you are not subscribed to Happy Prepper, I'm going to encourage you to go over there and do that and get subscribed to him. Um, show him some support. Very, very nice young man. And uh, like I said, let's, let's give him some Prepper Nurse One love. Um, tell him, you know, from the Prepper Nurse One community and let him know that Prepper Nurse One sent you over. Okay? So um, if you would do that, that would be fantastic. And thank you for doing that. But uh, so now that we finally, like I said, now that we finally don't have 90 degree days, we had, I think it was six or seven straight days of 90 plus temperatures. And uh, for up here, it's very, very, that's very, very hot. Today, right now, it's about 80 degrees. And uh, it is, you know, like I said, it's a little overcast right now, which is okay. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> You just you just don't know with the weather how it's going to be, but uh, it's it's nice that it's not 90. I can tell you, it's still high humidity, it's still warm, but uh, I was really happy to get that work done today. Um, again, I want to hear your guys' feedback again on this topic of Disneyland. What do you think? Hey, Beck. Um, what do you think of the uh, um, you know of them opening up Disneyland in the midst? of, uh, you know, Florida being one of the hot spots in the country right now, okay? So, I wanted to talk about this again really quickly. Um, now, I, there, Becca texted me yesterday and said, you're saying it wrong. Well, I, she's going to have to call me and talk to me and tell me how to say it right, but uh, I'm going to say it the way that I know how to say it. Jada, um, they, uh, it's J-A-Y-D-E-G-A, -E and that's dot .com is the website. If you go there, they sell um, they, uh, uh, CBD oils and hemp. And so, uh, if you are interested in that, if you go to the if you go to the website, and I'll say it again, it is J A Y D E G A, and um, that is .com. Okay. So if you go there, and if you are looking to get, uh, you know, any kind of CBD or anything like that. Uh, for pain or whatever else, seizures, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, definitely go take advantage of that. At checkout, when you are checking out, make sure that you, when they ask for if you have a coupon code, you click on yes. Use Prepper Nurse One. Prepper Nurse One. Um, just like the channel, you will get 15% savings if you do that. So um, definitely take advantage of that. Um, you know, I'm working with that company now. 
and I'm really, really excited to be working with that company. Look at this garden, guys. This garden is going to go crazy this year, I can tell you right now. Um, look at that cucumber. That one, that one's getting picked. That I think that's about ready right now. I might, yeah, actually, it's ready right now. Look at the size of that. Now, you don't want them to get too big because what happens when they get too big? Then they get sour and really seedy. But that is a good size right there. Um, so I'm going to actually, I'm going to cut that up and I'm going to eat that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I mean, we are going to get a lot, lot, lot of cucumbers, I think, this year. Uh, the cantaloupe is all flowering. It's looking fantastic. Uh, really excited about that, too. I absolutely love cantaloupe. So that's all climbing the fence as well. And uh, like I said, I think we're going to have a really, really good crop of everything. Another one. So, um, I think we're going to end up with a really, really good crop this year. Really good crop. I'm going to set these over here for right now. But, uh, yeah, the garden's doing fantastic. My sister picked some radishes yesterday. We were having some radishes. Now the peas are coming along, climbing that fence. Like I said, that first row, for whatever reason, that first row just never really took off, but the other two did, so they're doing fine. Um, I just want to come over here real quick, take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that zucchini looks nice. And then we got the yellow squash in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be having a bumper crop, my friends. A bumper crop. And I will share it with my neighbors, like I always do, because I like to do that. Oh, we got a nice nice one right here. Growing nice zucchini there. Another one there coming. Oh, another one right here. So and then we got the yellow squash down on this end. So yeah, we're gonna have it's gonna be a good, good, good year as far as the garden goes. Very much looking forward to this. So anyway, you can still see it's kind of muddy a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna take you in the back over here, and I wanted to show you. So anyway, again, I will be live streaming tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So please join me. Uh, topic to be determined once again. And uh, so, but uh, no, I think Disney's making a huge mistake. And I think that uh, more people are going to get sick. So we do have a little bit of standing water still in here. I mean, it was a really, really good storm. Um, we got a lot of rain. We had some downpours for a while, and then it turned into a nice steady rain. And when it did the nice steady rain, I was really happy about that because that's going to fill up uh, all the aquifers in the area. That was hugely, hugely helpful. So, thank you, Tropical Storm. Right? <laughs> uh, that was needed. We were, we've been really, really dry, and uh, so obviously today I'm not watering the garden today. Oh, freaking. So somebody told me they were not. Those were horse flies, um, or no, no, deer flies. Deer flies that I like uh, that I just killed yesterday, and not horse flies. Horse flies are bigger. So my apologies on that. And I was wrong. There, there's one of those deer flies. All right. So, <laughs> uh, love this time of year. It's my favorite. Anyway, so positive day. Got some stuff done. Was happy about that. Um, they're working on their place, so I'm not going to go in there and bother them while they're doing that, and uh, let them do what they are doing. They're wrapped around this side and the other front side because uh, they're going to be putting. Uh, another layer of insulation outside and then they're going to be putting a cover over the top of that So they got their own plan of what they're doing there, and I'm just letting them do whatever they're gonna do You know, and that's fine. That's that's their business and uh, so they can do what they're gonna do But so they're working on their stuff uh, Solar wise Solar is doing very well. It's a good day today. We ended up yesterday um, Before the storm said I'd already I pulled in like six kilowatt hours when the storms came and so then obviously for the rest of the day we didn't pull in anything. So um, like literally right after I made my video 
within a half an hour it was raining. So, all right. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off here from now. I do want to hear your feedback on what do you think about Disney opening up the theme park amidst the virus spiking in Florida. Um, I just, I, I think it's poor taste and poor judgment but again greed rules over everything else and these big corporations that's all they care about is the money at the, that's the bottom line it's just another example in my opinion of management not giving a crap about their workers and it continues to show over and over and over that they do that and it's terrible okay so anyway um, I am going to jump off here from now. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, all right? Um, stay away from negativity, and you're going to be fine. Um, real quick again, please go over to the Happy Prepper. Show them some support. Let's get them up over 4,000 by Monday. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway. I'll probably do that Monday or Tuesday because, obviously, I said 3,000. He's over 3,000 already. Um, so thank you guys for showing support and uh, giving the kid some, uh, you know, new subs and stuff like that. And we'll see how he does. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to come up. Yeah, I thought you were going to come up. So anyway, I will see you all tonight, 8 p.m. Have a great night. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.